Hey there, what's up? I hope you're doing really good today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best 25 tips and tricks for your new Samsung S20 Ultra. Let's begin. Just before we begin the video, I do want to let you know that some of these tips and tricks you can do on the previous Samsung Galaxy phones and some are going to be only for the Samsung S20 Ultra. So let's start with the first one. So the first trick that I'm going to show you is going to be how to take a screenshot on the new Samsung. Just so you're aware, nothing has changed. So in order to take a screenshot, all you're going to have to do is press volume down and the Bixby button at the same time real fast and it's going to automatically take the screenshot. And the second trick is going to be how how to change or customize the Bixby button right here. So as you all know, when you long press this button right here, it's gonna open up your assistant as you can see. But if you rather use this button for another function, all you're gonna have to do is go to your settings. Once in settings, you're gonna go to advanced features. And once you're there, you're gonna see right here, menu that is gonna be called side key. Here on side key, you're gonna see the option that is gonna say press and hold to wake up Bixby or to get the power off menu. So you can select between those two options by just pressing power off menu. And if you use Bixby and still want to get something for the button, all you're going to have to do is up here and double press select open Bixby. So now when you press and hold, it's going to give you the power off option. And if you double press, it's going to give you Bixby. And the next trick I'm going to show you is how to activate dark mode. And I'm going to do it in two ways. So the first one is going to be going through your settings. You're going to head to display. And once you're there, you're going to see right here the options where you can select from light to dark and vice versa also if you use your two fingers to swipe down on the top of the screen you're gonna get your quick settings menu where if you swipe to the left you're gonna see right here dark mode so all you're gonna have to do is tap on it and you're gonna either activate it or deactivate it now as you can notice the size of the screen is pretty big and really useful so if you want to get the most out of your display you can long press on the home screen and get on home screen setting once you're there you're gonna have an option to customize the home screen screen grid as however you please you can select it four times five four times six four five times five or five times six and if that's not enough on your customization you can also change the app screen grid by selecting on the same option and getting it this way and right here on the home screen settings you can also select the option that is going to say swipe down for notification panels and this is going to be really useful because instead of just having problems with reaching the top of your phone with one hand all you're going to have to do is swipe from whichever space on the home screen is going to bring down the notification panel and another really good feature that the new samsung brings is going to be the samsung daily basically what this is going to do is going to show you news from different apps and you can access to it by just swiping it to the right but if you happen not to like it so much all you're going to have to do to deactivate it is going to be long press on an empty space on the home screen like we did before you're going to swipe right and here you're going to have the option to deactivate the samsung daily and now when you swipe to the right nothing's going to happen now as the new models of the phones come up you can tell that they all come with a navigation panel but if you want to change the way that you go through your phone to adjust your navigation all you're going to have to do is go to your settings and once in settings you're going to go to display and here you're going to see all the way at the bottom navigation bar once you're there you can select full screen gestures which is going to take out the navigation buttons as you can see and everything's going to work with gestures also whenever you are in your app drawer you can use finder which is going to be this little search bar right here and the first time you press on it is going to give you a little tutorial on how it's going to work and after you allow all the permissions that they ask all you have to do is type whatever app you want to look for and it's going to look it up for you without you having to struggle and find it on the regular app drawer with the samsung you can also resize the widgets on your screen for example let's say i want to change the size of the hey google i just long press on it and it's going to give me this blue rectangle and if you want to make it smaller all you have to do is with your finger make it smaller or bigger same for the weather which is another widget right here i can make it bigger or smaller and in this phone as you can tell is pretty customizable so you can also customize the status bar by just going to your settings you're going to go to notifications and once you go here you're going to see status bar you just press on it and there you can modify how many notifications you want to show if you want a number of notifications only the three most recent or all notifications here you can also select to show the battery percentage by just pressing here 
and now it's gonna show on the top right corner. Another customization that I'm gonna show you is gonna be the customization of your quick settings menu. And you can easily do this by getting to your quick settings. And once you're in quick settings, all you're gonna do is press the three buttons that are gonna be up here. And then you're gonna see options where you can select the button order, the quick panel layout, or in the status bar. So in button order, you can change and customize where things are gonna be on your phone. You can select if you want the phone to show the brightness on top and it's also a shortcut to customize the status bar. Another really cool thing that I want to show you is going to be how to activate the always on display. And the always on display you can activate it by simply just going to your settings and once you're there you're going to go all the way down to lock screen. Once you lock screen you're going to see it right here. I have it activated but it's going to be deactivated when you first get your phone. Here you can select things as tap to show, show always, shows as scheduled. For me I'm going to select show always and that way when you activate it it's going to be always on display. You can also customize the clock style on your always on display on this same menu by just pressing this menu and here you're going to select if you want to customize the one on the lock screen or the always on display. You get on the one that says always on display and here you're going to see all the types of clocks that you can get. And you also have an option to select the brightness on the always on display screen by just deactivating the option that is going to say out of brightness because if you deactivate it, it's going to allow you to modify it on the always on display however you like it. If you decide to leave it automatic, you won't have to do anything. Now I'm going to show you some of the tricks that you can do on the camera since the camera is the one that comes with the most new features on this phone. First, I'm going to introduce you to single take. So single take is going to be this new function where the phone is going to take a video and then it's going to activate each camera right here and take pictures and videos and then select the best one for you and you have an option but the fun part is that you only have to do one take to get all of these versions by all different cameras and all different angles let's do it so you just have to press on the photo you here's going to tell you capturing meaningful moments try to slightly different angles and it also tells you that the more you shoot the more meaningful are so it's going to stop by itself eventually and when you select the picture here you're going to have all the different options and versions that you have of the own picture that you just took as you can see right now. You also have the option to record in super steady by just pressing the hand that has the electricity around it and I'm going to show you how it works. So basically I'm really shaking my hand then I'm walking and I'm going to show you how it works. So basically I'm really shaking my hand and say I'm walking. And as you could just see, the video was really steady. And another really cool feature on this new phone is going to be the excellent and high quality camera that it has. You can get a picture of 108 megapixels by just pressing on the aspect ratio icon. You go here all the way to the right, you're going to see 108 mp you select it and now it's going to give you the option to take the picture on high resolution and here in the selfie camera you're going to have the option to get different filters on your pictures as you can see what you're going to have to do is go to the little wand right here on the top right corner and you're going to have different filters right here and the best thing about this is that you can also create your own filters by just going on my filters and once you're there you're going to swipe to the right and you're going to create a new one here is going to give you a little tutorial on how to create it. All you're going to have to do basically is select a picture for your filter. You select any picture that you want. And that is going to recreate a filter for your picture. And right here you can also customize the camera modes by just swiping all the way to the left. And here you're going to see a little pencil. You're going to press on that pencil. And it's going to allow you to move all these camera modes. For example, let's move live focus and put it on this side, on this side, and you can customize your camera settings menu. And you can also schedule a message. Let's say that you're planning to send a message to someone at a certain time, but you don't want to forget and you don't want to set an alarm. This phone gives you an option to automatically send a message on the time that is scheduled. All you're going to have to do is select one contact and once you select that contact you're going to go to the plus sign right here on the keyboard and here you're going to see a schedule messages. So you just go in there and you're going to select the day and the time that you want that message to be sent. Let's say a happy birthday but you're not going to be awake. So all you have to do is set up here for 12 a.m. 12 a.m. for that day. Happy birthday. And that's it. 
And if the screen is way too big for your hand, all you have to do is activate the single hand mode. You have to just go to your settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to go to advanced features, which is going to be down here. You'll go right here, right under motions and gestures. You're going to see one handed mode. This way is going to scale down the display size temporarily. So that way you can use it with only one hand without having problems to reach all the screen. So here is going to show you two options where you can customize how you're going to do that. You can either double tap the home button or swipe down. For me, I'm going to double tap the home button. And once I'm here, I'll do this. And this is going to make it smaller. So that way I can reach every single part with only one hand. And if I wanted to go back to the way it was before, you just have to press on the black part. And right here in motions and gestures, you're going to have the option to palm swap to capture. Basically what you have to do is swap your palm through the side of the screen and it's going to take a screenshot. This is going to be way much easier than having to press those two buttons. If you don't have it activated, all you're going to have to do is go to your setting, go to advanced features, motions and gestures, and you're going to have the option right here. So that was it on the best 25 tips and tricks for your new Samsung S20 Ultra. Leave a comment down below on which trick was your favorite and subscribe for more content like this and as always i'll see you on the next video